Well, I've wanted to do this for a while, and one of my uh, friends just started a group and everything, so I thought I would um, show some of the things about being an admin, how to navigate the group as an admin, the things that you can do as an admin. So here is the group that I founded. It is Happy Acres, Farming Your Way to Success. And I know that uh, I also have a bake, a couple baking groups and stuff too. So, but I'm going to show on this one because I can show a lot more with this one. It's, you know, very active. All right. So when you come in, there is a thing for chats, but uh, we don't do our chats that way. We do it through messenger. So, but people can start a chat in here. And then, okay. So you have your overview page, which will show you if you have any member reported contents, any pending posts, which means like if you're, if you're somebody who approves all the posts, then those will show up there and you'll have to go in and approve them. Your group status, we have no member violations, moderation alerts, uh, I have zero, I have 150 uh, member requests that I need to go through because you know in this group I don't leave it open you you guys know I always make sure that everybody's safe and that they actually do play the game and they're they're not uh, scammers or anything like that so I I do a pretty vigorous you know background check and make sure everybody's safe because that is my thing to keep everybody safe so um this shows that there were 286 posts this week. We had 369 comments, which was kind of down, which I'm surprised because of everything that was going on with the game. Maybe people just weren't in here because of that too. We had lots of reactions. Um, let's see. You can do you can do a custom post which is reoccurring, which is actually what I do to welcome new members. I have it set for Sunday morning at nine o'clock, and I just have it set to where the group, like you know this this group right here, just post it itself, and then you you know we we all welcome them stuff like that. So um, so you can click this and you can set up a group post that'll do something like if you have helpful hints or you think that there's something that should be done on a weekly basis like um, Monday make sure you do all your takeout orders Tuesday you know something like that something that would reoccur every single week you can set that up too and it'll run without you having to repost it so that's actually a pretty good tool share the workload of running happy acres some groups are nonstop, like ours. Give yourself a break by adding another admin to your group so you can add people, you know, as admin to help you run your group. Um, I have yeah, a few admin, and of course they're very trusted, and, you know, we keep in contact, and everybody knows, like, what I expect and everything to try to keep things positive, keep things going, make sure everybody has answers to all their questions. If somebody can't answer a question, they they come to me and have me answer it. You know, just things like that. Just keep your group group going, and and you can't be here twenty four seven. Like, you know, with me, you know, pretty much everybody knows I'm in law school. So, and I'm I'm right at the very end. So, like, I've got a lot of things going on with that too. So, you know, my admin keep keep up on things let me know if there's anything that really needs my attention when I'm not there so because it can become a 24 hour a day job you can review posts before they're published which I don't really do I put everybody pretty much on the honor system um, I've rarely had anybody really um, do anything that that made me put them on post approval I mean I've had to a few people when they've gone after somebody or, you know, been really, really negative because I'm really, I'm just not about that. I just feel like negativity breeds negativity and once you allow it, it just all goes downhill. So um, I try not to make sure there's any bad, bad blood 
in the group and everything. So you can do that, but if somebody does violate it, I go ahead and let them know, and then I put them on post approval for 30 days. And I, I usually don't have anybody that does it more than once, so it's not that big of a thing for me. Okay, we can um, see what our top posts were, how many people they reached, um, weekly active members, 816 of you guys have been in the last seven days so and with the game being down so much that's that's pretty good for this week so over here that was our overview we have an admin assistant which will show if any comments were declined post declined if any posts were approved how many there were and this is the one i was telling you about that i publish a welcome post every sunday at 9 a.m and you know uh, here's things you can do in your group approve member request if and then it'll give you certain you can put in certain criteria decline them if suspend a person for one day if so you, you can kind of put these things in and it helps you run your group but uh, I don't I don't do these I just go ahead and I just make sure everybody does what I had said before you know that they, they play the game and everything decline incoming post if you know you can do these things manage comments decline income coming comment if so that's a pretty good thing so I've got member requests so I need to go through and make sure all these people play and I just haven't had a chance to because I've been pretty busy so these ones were you know invited by Hannah so actually I could approve those since they were invited by but if there's ones where let's see okay let's see joined Facebook 15 years ago hasn't answered any questions um there's no group post of course on here he just says happy acres and apparently it was just his birthday i don't see any happy acres post so what i'll do is uh probably go ahead and uh, message him and see if he plays and talk to him for a minute and see what's what's happening so let's go back so that's kind of what I do that badge request um, I do I do set up badges on here like uh, you know people that I don't know top contributors different things like that there's membership questions which actually um, these ones are okay but you can set up your own membership questions for people to join if you want to there's no pending post potential spam uh oh we do have potential spam why is this a potential spam okay I missed this one we can go ahead and publish that for Kathy I'm not sure why it was was in there the scheduled post like what I had told you before activity log these are you know saying in here like if Okay, how I just published this from Kathy. And to see details, you can go ahead and press this and it'll show you what it was I just approved. If you want to undo, like say Myrna deleted a post and I wanted to undo it, I could just hit that. But Myrna's been busy for me. Look how hard she works. She works so hard for me. Okay, and then Hannah's been working hard. So you can see, like if somebody, I had somebody say to me, that I deleted their post and I didn't even know it was there and I had I know I never saw it like one of my admin did and she got mad and left the group because I deleted a post but I mean I we delete a lot of posts so I had to go back and find who actually deleted that post and I had never seen it so you can 
use this as a tool like that, which is kind of silly for somebody to get upset about it. Because we leave all the good stuff. We leave, like, when somebody levels up. We leave, you know, good news, stuff like that. We leave it up. So I, I never delete that. If you level up, I want you to be able to go back in and see when the last time you leveled up was. So I just we just leave those. Um, group rules. Um, no political, no spam, have fun, don't pop, you know, you can set your own guidelines up for that. If a member reports anybody, it shows up there. Moderation alerts, we don't have any of those. Group status, this group has no issues, no violations, no restrictions. Uh, community roles I've got I, I don't have any moderators because I don't have anybody that just comes in and watches the group or something but all of us admin we just kind of you know keep keep it going group setting manage discussions permissions um, new member intro privacy all kinds of stuff who can join the group uh, you can events, you can set your files up, allow people to post gifts, polls, reels, which actually I might start doing some reels. Um, let's see, add features. You can apparently raise money, which I'm not sure how that would work out. <laughs> not for this group. Uh, let's see. Product tagging, music sh sharing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've got, you know, these kind of things. But you can also, uh, conversation starter. I've got that one set up. Highly rated super seller. I think you can maybe, let's see. Visual storyteller. I've got that one set up very responsive these ones don't really apply to our group so but you can just all kinds of stuff game links all these things like that your growth your engagement all these things like that your admins and your moderators member request to prove you activity top I guess I'm the top one sorry Myrna Hannah Alicia okay membership people who are the most active on the community feed for 28 days since the last update Meredith look at you look at you so this is who was the most uh uh, engaged, I guess, would be a good word to put it. So that that's pretty cool. And then tell us who they are. We've got 15% male and 85% female. And this is where everybody's from. Uh, Brazil. You're really showing up. The UK, Italy, Canada. Okay, so, you know, you've got all these things like that help center if you if you have any questions about your group but let's go into let's go into the group itself and then like if you were on the happy acres farming your way to success there is a featured section that's right here okay these are the things that um I haven't really put things up in the featured because I've been doing the videos and everything, but you can put things up here in the featured section. So when somebody comes into your group, the first thing they look at are things that maybe you want. Like, let's say you had a, a, like a baking group and you have these tips that you always want to highlight things like maybe that help you sell better, that, that you think are real important things. You could go ahead and put them up here. Like, like you could take a post that you put up and then you put pin to featured. So when you click the pin to featured, it goes up here automatically. And then to take it back out, you would just go unpin or something. But you can have those up there at all times. So anybody that comes into the group can take a look and see these featured items. Okay. 
Um, we don't really do the discussion with that. Uh, here's, you know, the members tab that tells all the members. Um, if there's an event coming up, you can create an event. Any media, this is like, you know, anything that anybody, pictures or anything that anybody put up, go in there. We have a file section where any files that you want, like if you had a baking group, you could do like, you know, your, the recipes and stuff. And, and normally anybody can go ahead and, and put these in. I don't know if there's a setting to stop people from putting files in or not, but uh, if there is, I, I don't have it. I mean, just kind of check and see what they put in and everything. Because it's your group, your reputation. You know, it's somebody putting, you know, uh, not correct information or something in there. But that's kind of how you find it. If you want to invite somebody to the group, of course, invite Facebook friends. Or you can invite them with the email. And then, like, this will come up. So, um, Carter, Michelle, these are some of my baking friends. This is a friend from school. Uh, let's see. I can invite a few people in. Which, I, had, I got quite a few followers when uh, my profile went to, there's my sister's. Let's see. I believe Jason Payne plays high school, son, cousin, friend, aunt. It, there's just people here that, so you could send these invites like that. Okay. And then if you want to share the group, you can share like to your profile or your feed. And you can change like who who all sees it when you do this like you share public oh shoot i didn't mean to. okay i shouldn't have done that share to feed this is the one i was looking for you can come up here share to your feed you can do it to your friends only your friends accept to only me to specific friends custom friends and stuff like that instead um you can share with a qr code you can copy the link and share it to somebody. You can put it on a friend's profile and share it to another group. Uh, share it to a page. You can send it in Messenger. So I could send this, let's say, I'll send it to Matthew and like that. Okay. And that's how you do it. Here we go. Uh, View member request your contents. Share again. You can manage notifications from there. Unpin the group. Unfollow the group. Sort comments. You can pause your group or you can leave your own group if you want to. Right there. If you want to... I probably should have shown that too. If you ever need to search for something in the group. Let's say here. So let's look for... You can type in here what you want to look for. Let's look for Myrna. So anything Myrna has done. There we go. You can see any of these things that Myrna has done. Last time she leveled up. Like any post she's made. And stuff like that. So that's how you search for people in your group too. And okay. I think that's, that's pretty much it. If my friend I'm making this for has any questions, they can ask, and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, happy farming. Well, I guess not happy farming to everybody. Happy baking. Happy farming. Happy whatever you do that you're admin. Um, like, comment, and subscribe.